it's my boo I could make a quarter million off a high cool and I could make another quarter off at times two and family is up and welcome to the vlog it's the show day vlog for the pro debut we are currently one day out already did my check-in with Jay we dropped a whole pound so I know we're just gonna continue to keep eating the same amount of food Alexis is here she looked over my posing and right now Marilla and I we're on our way to a Brazilian bakery I'm not getting anything obviously but he's gonna get some things grocery store and then we're gonna head out to the gym look at all the beautiful treats rude bringing me here one day out all right now we are at a brazilian supermarket i love these of course i'm not eating it today but these strawberry wafers and then they have a butcher shop so of course look at him look at him look at him look at him so cutie okay so a skewer Hopefully by the time I drop this, there will already be a YouTube set up so everyone will follow and everyone's going to be watching because it's show day vlog. So, I'm posing with Alexis, link in the description. Yeah. Did you hear the, um, in our podcast episode where I put the commercial in? Yes. It's very, very, like, very, you're very good at it. <laughs> I, was like, hmm. I was like, oh, I forgot to send her no, that. Clean your equipment, guys. Yeah, don't be nasty. Some of y'all. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's gross. Okay. Now we are off to check in. Pro debut. 
actually check in. Alrighty, we are walking to get a Starbucks because caffeine, hello, and then athlete check-in, take all these photos, then I get to relax. <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit! Yeah, we might be pushing the camera. Oh. Wow! Just here a ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here? Oh, Hey, how are you? What's that? Uh, yeah. I'm not mad. <laughs> and I am back at the Airbnb and I feel so relaxed got my pump in did athlete check-in for the pro debut and then Jay looked at us um she said everything looks good so I just ate my meal and I scarfed that thing down like a freaking savage I was so hungry and then I'm going to check in one more time so I'll just send her pics at eight o'clock before my last meal right now I'm just gonna shower and relax Alexis is sleeping like I freaking love her she didn't get here until 4 a.m. this morning and then she was up at 7 30 because she had a posing client and she had her own cardio and she's been toting me around all day long so she's resting because she's still got to go do her training because she's in the O prep so just very grateful for her I get to just relax for the rest of the night I knew I wanted to make sure I got my pump up in before athlete check-in because I know after athlete check-in I'm just always tired, always exhausted. So that's it for the night. I'll check back in probably once I got the tan on. So yeah, I'm just gonna relax. All right, 847. I did my last check-in. Well, actually, I sent it over to Jay so she could look at me. She was good with it. Now I'm about to have my last meal of the evening, and that is going to be shrimp and jasmine rice. So I like eating this as my last meal because it's not too heavy, and it does not sit on my stomach. Um, yes, you guys, carbs, specifically for my fam that is not a bodybuilder. I'm going to have a nutrition video coming up very soon. I really want y'all to understand carbs are not bad for you, okay? Carbs are your fuel, your brain power. They are necessary. But what you have to understand is your body's going to look totally different if you're getting your carb sources from jasmine, rice, sweet potatoes, oats versus pizza pasta they're not the same so it just frustrates me when people like to demonize carbs because it's not the carbs it's what you're choosing but anywho we'll get into that in a moment i'm going to eat this already showered exfoliated my body and so it's about to be tanned all right you guys tan is on it's time for bed 
I am, I feel great because there's literally zero expectations, zero pressure. We're just rolling in, we're having some fun. I still can't believe I'm a pro, so I'm still stuck in two weeks ago. This pro debut hasn't even quite caught up with me yet. I haven't processed it yet. So I don't know, it might be another two weeks before I can even process this because like I said, I'm still stuck on me achieving my pro card. So needless to say, I'm just happy to be here, happy to just get the experience, here to have a good time and be unforgettable. So show day in five, four, three, two, It's show day. Let's get ready. my jewelry by all that glitters gems code amber p my beautiful new suit by kh customs i am one of her athletes i'm so excited to wear this and then number 130. all right first meal going down i have 25 grams of protein 50 grams of carbs and 15 grams of fat with my water I'll be sipping on 25 ounces in between now and pre-judging, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then after I eat, I'm gonna go ahead and put my top coat on and then I'll do my makeup. Show mom to Olivia. What's up, y'all? <laughs> She's hanging out with me. It is time. Let's do this. Thank you. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, patch a lot. Love you. Say it. What are, what are we doing? One more what? I'm okay. Come on, say it right. Cast from the net. But you said one more, you already started halfway. <laughs>
All right, y'all. So it is, what's today's date? Wednesday, July 19th. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Four days post show. And I'm not, I was going to apologize. However, I'm not going to. So I did a bad job at getting content on show day, but I'm sure you will understand. This is my pro debut. And while yes, I love sharing the journey and posting, and you know, just sharing, keeping you guys in the loop. However, I just really wanted to spend time with, first of all, my support group that were there with me. And I just wanted to soak up the moment because I understand you only get one pro debut. So there's a part of me that's kind of like, meh, I did a bad job at getting the footage. However, the other part of me is, I, I need I need it to just soak it all in and just take it all in and enjoy it and have fun. So I am still over the moon. I am beyond proud of myself. Show day for the pro debut was such a cool experience. Again, happy to be there. Just I, I still I, I was still trying to process it all because again, because I just got my pro card two weeks prior. So soaking that all in, letting that sink in, truly understanding what that means, and then diving into the pro debut, everything worked out perfectly. I was able to do my pro debut in Atlanta, which is fantastic because that's where my coach lives. So it was cool just being able to be there with her. She had her guy chance there getting content of my teammate and I, Michelle. So that was really nice. If you don't know this about me, I hate taking photos. And when I say hate taking photos, I love taking photos. Like if someone's meeting me, you know, that's different. But to just stand there and me be the center of attention, like me getting all the photo, like I, I absolutely hate it. However, I understand that it's something that I need to get over. So Jordan was really pushing me. She just basically said, listen, you're a pro now. This is part of the job. This is what you need to do. So I was able to get some content. When I woke up on show day morning, I took my photos and I knew I was not as sharp as I needed to be. The day before, I looked perfect, 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 perfect. Understand that I've been doing this for quite some time now, especially from my past two shows that I had. I understand what I need to look like. I hope this lighting isn't too terrible. It's kind of beaming, but it's fine. Eh. Hold on, let me see. I think it's just the way the sun's coming in. Eh. that better I hope it's not too terrible anywho I knew when I woke up I wasn't as sharp before I even took my photos because my stomach my stomach just felt bloated and very full which is very unusual for me when I wake up in the morning typically in the morning I'm hungry everything is super super tight super snatch good to go that was not the case and so immediately I felt that and I knew oh wait a second this ain't gonna be it today took my photos and I could tell I was not as crispy as I needed to be this is just a learning lesson. What you have to understand is every prep is different, just like every peak is different. So that was my third peak and I was being fed into the show, which obviously we needed. But what I think happened was because I was going into my show for the whole week eating 280 grams of carbs. And I think the day before probably should have just pulled it down. However, that was my fault because I'm bad at speaking up whenever something is feeling off in my body and I'm going to do better at that. I should have said something the day before about, hey, you know what? I'm starting to feel a little bit full because we could have just brought the food down and it would have been fine. However, lesson learned. When I woke up and I saw it wasn't as crispy, I really wasn't too worried about it because going into my pro debut, happy to be here. Secondly, I have realistic expectations. I have been studying the bikini division hardcore and I understand as a new pro, it is very difficult to come in, bust it wide open, get the first call out or hell even win. Can it be done? Yes. Have a very few girls been able to do that? Yes. However, I know me. I know my story. I am not that girl. I am not an overnight success and I am okay with that. So going into it, my goal was to first of all, be unforgettable. And secondly, not come in last place. That was my goal. 
I made it at the skin of my teeth. I came in 15th place, so I got second call out. Of course, what I wanted to get a little bit higher than 15th place because after 15th place is 16, 16 is last, and with the IFBB, once you hit 16th place, everyone gets 16. So they stop giving placings out basically after 15th place. So I got the last placing and then everybody else is last after that. So I got 15th place and then everyone else is last after that. Of course, I would have wanted to come in with a higher placing, but I also understood that this is my pro debut and I am not as crispy as I was at my prior show. So the fact that I was able to get a second call out and get a placing at my pro debut, we gon' we gonna take it. But what I was excited about, I was so excited to get into my new suit. Shout out to KH Customs because I am one of their athletes. She made me a beautiful suit. It looked crazy insane on stage. Oh my goodness. I loved everything about my look. I loved the way my hair turned out, although it was hot as hell and it was humid outside. So my fro started doing all, all sorts of weird things. However, that's okay. But the way my makeup turned out the suit the tan everything was on point and I was I was proud I was so happy I also got to do my pro debut with my teammate Michelle Michelle did her pro debut as well she competed at junior nationals that's where she got her pro card at so being able to do the pro debut with my teammate Michelle is so awesome she came in 11th place and she was she was on point absolutely love her look and shout out to Michelle for keeping me on point because she made sure I got all my content pieces because Wings of Strength which is a great show promoter everything was smooth organized beautiful I will definitely be doing more Wings of Strength shows in the future but they gave athletes their free video which video content for stage is just an amazing thing to have. Yes, I love it when, you know, the audience or someone in the audience gets a video of me or if someone's watching the live stream and they do a screen record and they send that to me, that's fantastic. I love that. This show specifically, they had their videographer send their video of the stage performance to every athlete. I thought that was incredible. So Michelle made sure that I signed up for that. And then while we were um, backstage, there was a photographer taking photos of us and she told me, hey, go, 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 go get your photo taken. So and we took a photo to Together as well and then like I said Jordan had her content guy there Chance who was amazing he got some really great footage of us so going into the pro debut being backstage backstage was amazing I mean it was very chill it wasn't there it really I didn't really feel much of a difference from it from being backstage at a national show versus a pro show the only thing that i would say is there wasn't as many people backstage and it was a little bit calmer i feel that everyone is just focused they're chill they're relaxed they're doing their own thing which i was cool with because when i'm backstage i'm just trying to chill just chilling minding my business and just waiting so you know it's time to line up i was getting excited i didn't I always have a little bit of nervous energy, but I'm not so nervous to the point that I'm freaked out. But it did not hit me that I was getting ready to do my pro debut until I was on the sideline. There was a girl doing her um, individual routine. I looked up at the screen and I saw it say IFBB Pro League Bikini. At that moment, it clicked in my head and I said, oh shit, I'm a pro, this is real, this is about to happen. They brought us out for our comparisons, which I love when they do comparisons first because even they do this at the national level and I believe they do it at the um, regional level as well. I love doing comparisons first because the comparisons, that's when you get to feel the floor. You can understand, okay, how does this feel? How do I need to move? And that's when you work out those jitters. After, I'm always a little bit nervous right before that, but then after the comparisons are over, I feel good and ready to roll. So I loved the way I presented myself on stage. Like I said, even with me knowing my physique wasn't as crispy, I did not care. My energy was great. You could not tell me that I was not the vibe on stage. I loved every single moment of it, which is a huge deal for me because I typically do not like show day. Show day is has been in the past my least favorite part of the entire bodybuilding process. However, I loved it. I loved my posing routine. It was me. I felt good. 
everything was fantastic. And so after the individual routines, that's when they do call out. So the goal is always to get in that first call out because the first call out is always going to be the top placings and they do it differently every show. So sometimes first call out can be one through five. It might be one through eight. It might be one through 10. For this particular show, they did one through eight. And it was really cool because if you are a new pro or even if you're not a new pro or maybe if it's just your rookie pro season, I feel one of the best things that can happen to you is being in second call out or third call out just simply because there is nothing like being able to see that call out face to face. I know when we're looking at videos and pictures online, we're always sometimes thinking, wait a second, well, how did this person win? Because this looks like that. But keep in mind that Photos and videos never tell you the true picture of what someone really looks like. There is never anything that's going to beat being there at the show, seeing it with your eye. So being on stage, like I could reach out and touch the girls. That's how close I am. But being on stage and seeing the first call out, seeing who the judges pick, watching how they move the girls around. Because if you're in the center, then you're that first or second place and then so on and so on. So watching the girls move, seeing how tight they were, their muscle bellies, the density, the vascularity, being able to see all of that so close up was by far the best thing that could possibly ever happen because now I have an even better understanding of what I need to do moving forward and how my physique needs to look. So after the um, show, we got feedback backstage. Mo came backstage. I absolutely love Mo. She would judge me at my very first show back in 2019. And it was so funny because after pre-judging for my first show, I was in the elevator and she looked at me and she said, red suit? I said, yes, ma'am. And she said, you come see me after because you're, you're going to be something. That was four years ago. So we're waiting in line, which is also very cool for the pro level. At a national level, you have to wait till the very end of the show. And y'all know national shows can be long and the line is just obnoxiously long. At the pro level, the judge comes right on backstage while the show is still going on and gives the feedback then. So I said, hi, Mo, my name is Amber. I'm competitor 130. She looks at me. She goes, girl, I know who you are. I judged you last year at Junior USA's. And when she said that to me, I was first of all flattered and shocked because do you know how many bodies this woman has seen from last year, Junior USA's, all the way till now? That was over a year ago. So the fact that she remembered me, let me know, okay, so mission accomplished as far as being unforgettable because Clearly I was unforgettable and I didn't realize it. And Alexa said to me, you have a look that's very hard to forget. No one's going to ever be able to forget you. So hearing that just really put a lot of things into perspective for me. And then also Marilla was telling me that just like the crowd response, he said, you know, the crowd really loves you. And then on top of that, I had a stranger message me saying, hey, you know, I started following you a couple of days. I was in the audience while you were on stage. Just want to let you know you were definitely a crowd favorite. So all of that made me feel good and confirmed that, okay, Mission Unforgettable is complete. We did that. And she said that my feed for feedback, she loves my look. She said everything, I look beautiful. My energy on stage is good. She said tighten up in the glutes because she's felt like my glutes weren't as tight. It was a little jiggly. And so to me, that's great feedback because I knew I wasn't as crispy. So my only feedback was to tighten up the glutes. And it's tricky sometimes because when you are getting judges feedback, especially if you're a newer competitor, trying to decipher the feedback can be tricky. Sometimes when judges say tighten up, I think girls don't realize, you, you have to understand where you are. I knew I was already lean because at my past two shows, they told me don't get any leaner. So it wasn't a leanest thing. Sometimes when they say tighten up, it can just be overall, you still have too much body fat on you. That wasn't my case. Like I said, I knew I wasn't crispy. I knew my glutes and my um, tie-ins weren't as crispy. So. I just need to get a little bit tighter. When I woke up for stage day, I was 135.8, and that's the highest I've ever woken up out of the past two shows that I've had for stage. So moving forward, I know, all right, I probably need to wake up if we're gonna bring a little bit of a tighter package. I need to wake up at my 134, and then we can just kind of go from there. Again, these are things that you learn the more you compete, but also it's not always about the weight either because 
because it's a look. The judges don't care how much you weigh. They don't care how much weight you can move around the gym. They're looking at a specific look. So I know for me, especially after seeing the girl, seeing how tight they are, I know that I need to come in. I'm thinking a little bit tighter than what I was at Universe should be right there on the money. So with that being said, season's not over. I want to do one more. I know I can do one more. Mentally, I'm fine. Physically, I'm fine. Definitely took taking some time to rest. However, the good thing is now because I don't have to, I don't work for Macy's anymore. So I have more free time, which means I get to actually rest and recover, which has always been a huge challenge for me, just the resting and recovering. So now I am just back to 100% full throttle Amber P Beauty, still traveling on the weekends, doing stage glam. I'm actually gonna be heading out to Masters Nationals tomorrow. This is going up. I think when this goes up, I'll already be there or I'll be coming back from it. But, and then I have my Stage Glam webinar coming up on August 20th, that's a Sunday. I have two times because the first one sold out. So the first one's gonna be at noon and the second one's gonna be at 5 p.m. So if you'd like to sign up for that, the link will be down below. You are going to be doing a Stage Glam step-by-step -step webinar with me. We're gonna go over colors for your suit, product recommendations, how to go about picking your foundation shade, and also this is very interactive, so I want you to bring your makeup bag so that way we can do this together. Also, I have my calendar open now for one-on-one -on -one beauty consultations, and this is for everybody, not just bodybuilders. So you have the option of choosing stage glam, which of course, if you're a competitor and you just want one-on-one -on -one with me so I can really help you fine tooth your stage glam, if you need hair care guidance, or if you need basic skincare and makeup application guidance, you can do that. And that link down below for the beauty consultations will be in the description box. So again, I cannot thank you all enough for all the love and support. We're going to cast another net. It's going to be good. Of course, I'll keep you guys up to date. And also, you all have been loving the prep bodybuilding content. So I'm going to make it my mission to make sure that I'm bringing you more bodybuilding content. So training, nutrition, mindset, all the stuff that I love and am just having so much fun doing. So I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Keep it simple. I'll see you in the next video. Cast one more net.